hello friends so uh, welcome to data pandit so today we let's see one more scenario which is component based solution basically so, so there is going to be one component which can solve this kind of problem so let's say we have column 1 column 2 column 3 and column n let's say and the values are like a, a b c whatever values we can we could have and uh, so this is a more general use case but if i take it a parse partially let's say for three up till three columns column 1 column 2 and column 3 so the values are like a a b and a a b again and then there is a third record is b a c okay and uh, the expectation is like uh, we shall have two uh, fields in the output and the values is the column becomes the rows and the corresponding values right so this horizontal rows becomes the vertical so column name and data so na name and data and the column name would be column 1 column 2 column 3 and the values corresponding a a b right so this call one is repeating twice right and it is going to be call one call two and call three right call three will have b call two a and call one is a right and then again a for call one right so basically i think then for the output there is manipulation further so there is an intermediate things over here so to do this kind of horizontal to vertical uh, positioning of these uh, data so we use the meta pivot okay meta pivot is the existing component therein there is an you know fields so don't use so for this particular scenario you don't use the any pivot for this so only field name and field value so there are two uh, things we need to uh, configure in the meta pivot we are not we are not going to use any pivot pivot in the sense of this particular field is not going to repeat the same value is going to be repeated basically for that particular field is there is no uh, vertically partitioning okay so if you look at it like if you look at the input data let's say we have taken this input so after meta pivot so the record would look like this call 1 call 2 call 3 like i said right call 1 call 2 call 3 a a b so, a a b and then again call 1 call 2 call 3 a a b and then again call 1 call 2 call 3 and then b a c so uh, to achieve this kind of output like uh, this one i need to do is uh, i need to sort it and then dedupe based on the both the keys okay therefore uh, i see only one record for call 1 and a right so there will be only one record after deduping uh, sorting and dedupe so after that i need meta pivot then sort and then dedupe so if you do that you will have a desired output like this uh, like this right so there will be two fields You know, field one and field two. You can um, rename later point in time while processing. Okay, but basically, so because we are using the already existing component, or we can use uh, other ways like roll up or scan. We can do right to avoid uh, the uh, these kind of things, the customized things. We try to use the already optimized component, which are you know. meant for this kind of processing so we shall uh, try to use that so that uh, with respect to computation it is going to be effective and fast thank you so much <coughs>